they, that's coming out. Um, starting off with T-shirts and everything like that. Um, and I'm back really working with music full time. But I can't discuss that because uh, what's, what's going to drop is going to be special. You actually going to be the artist this yes, time? Yes, yes. I'm going to be the okay. artist. You've been bullshitting. I mean, yeah, we've been bullshitting. Well, we've both been bullshitting for 20, for 20 years. Yeah, but man, I, just, I finally got the nerve to do this shit. <laughs> Hey, just you gotta do it. Yeah, man, got nothing to do this shit, man. But tonight I'm hype. I've been knowing his brother for years. Brass hole. He runs a poetry spot slash hip hop spot in Detroit. He's been a pioneer. Actually, you how long you been doing this? Um, seven years. This past November. God damn. You like the Eric Bischoff, Vince McMahon of, <laughs> of urban <laughs> entertainment. Oh, <laughs> y'all get off of Cam Brass, y'all. You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Y'all good? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, great, oh, yeah. Great, great, One thing we do before we start off, can we uh, we ask how y'all mental health are? How, like, how's your mental health? Oh, I'm good. You know, my kids got their football and cheer, leading stuff today, like their trophies from this past season. I'm good today. You know what I'm saying? And I can't even ask nothing more. Kids healthy and happy. Niggas ain't broke. I'm good. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> facts, that's what's up. facts, facts, facts. You? Facts. Incredible. Incredible, man. I've been in a great space lately. Okay. I'm getting yeah. myself back. I am back. Fuck that. I am back. I'm getting Claim myself back shit. too, though, low key. Claim you, know what shit. I, you know what I've been going through? Like, so we about to run into that new transition. Yeah. You, but you, it, it's always scary when you transform. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Because the bad apple could be you, returned any minute. Listen, you I don't keep know what like you going to get, man. It's always scary when <laughs> he's in the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I like it be talking. I think that's for both of us. We, it's always scary when we about to go into a whole different transition. But I think I want to concentrate. Definitely, I want to come back uh, into the artist world. That's one thing I've been, I've been itching to do. And I'm about to have some off days at work, so I'm ready. Yeah, push. Continue to push yourself, man. Just keep pushing your brand. Push, pushing this, man. This, this. You have done an incredible job with this whole. Place. Man, I was that post this morning when I highlighted all the uh, panelists. The elite yeah. panelists or whatever the case may be. That was dope. I, the the show first started with just me and him. Okay. And then it just evolved to like eight people. You like kinda, It kind of bring attention to your eye when you think about it. Yeah, I didn't realize it when I made it. Like, damn, this shit evolved. It got After Dark with Jen, the sex, like once a month we do a sex show. Oh, what you got oh co- shit. Yeah, you got to come to that one too. Was, yeah. yeah. I need to slide, slide back there. Yeah. <laughs> definitely do. Definitely do. Definitely. Show's be lit. Uh, so, Ken, so, question. So. Answers. <laughs> <laughs> you brought me out of the house. You know I don't have good sense. You did this. I, I know. I understand. Whatever gets recorded, you did this. I know. I know. I could be at home watching TV. You got me out. I of know. You're off day. Like this is a Sunday. I don't have sound off. I'm really just be in the house. <laughs> I, I feel that. I definitely understand. So I noticed you. Is the spot a, a hip hop spot now, or is it more of poetry? I'm a literal open mic guy. People try to call it a hip hop side, but I take whoever walks through the door. You can come in that bitch juggling midgets. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's dope. Like That's I don't I don't believe in a label. I like guess I have an open mic platform. It's literally in the title. Sound off Sunday's open mic. Open mic. Okay, that's fair open. enough. What about, where's located at? Um we had a spot that's called the higher function off seven mile and Ryan. It's five two four nine east seven mile. Right off Ryan. Slide. I'm about to slide through. Yeah, they had strippers in there last week. I was like, "What the?" <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that was just it was a one time thing. It's not gonna be here. Don't come there Sundays. I mean, something just pop up, but there's no plan stripping. <laughs> I can't, I can't wait to go. <laughs> there's no plan strippers coming this this coming Sunday. Uh, in terms of running this spot, because you've been running it for a minute, I think you, like, you up there with like the sparrows and the fluence and like, I guess yeah. I think at this point. I'm got to be the third longest consistent spot behind 90s and G Smooth's basement. Oh yeah, oh G Smooth. I got I got to get him on here too. Yeah, so I got to be number three. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's you cool. came in with the Sweet Epiphany, right? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a Sweet Epiphany kid. <laughs> sweet Epiphany. Era. I remember that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> oh. he, was down, he was down the street at the, um, what was that shit? The Boss Lounge or some shit. Boss Life. Yeah, Boss that Life. That shit down by Telegraph. That shit was live too for yeah. a second. It was. Oh, man. Uh, is there anybody you look up to? When I when I was doing that, running that time, like I envisioned myself as like a young black Eric Bischoff. Like I was just <laughs> pissing people off. <laughs> 
But still running a dope ass show. That shit was sweet. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrestling reference for those who don't the uninitiated. Yeah. Hey, well, I forgot what day time we live because we forgetting about history real fast. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot of people, hey, Air Bishop, who is that? He be like, but he's still around. He be popping up in AEW, AEW every now and again. He was just on Raw like not so long ago. Yeah, he was. So he's still around, and yeah. I think he got a podcast. <laughs> hey, that's the that's the route everybody is going. I know, I know. Podcasting, but yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of Air Bishop, but. I respect him. Yeah, you you got you had to. Yeah, when, this you, is, when you when you got like the when you got like the behind the scenes of it, you got to respect what he did because he he was somebody that wasn't really in the wrestling business and damn near put WWE out of business. I mean, you can, can call it what you want, but he had damn to make on the ropes. He just won eighty four weeks in a row against Raw. Like you can't can't knock that can't knock that shit. Nitro did, yeah, yeah. beat Raw for eighty four straight weeks. Bragging rights. Whoa, whoa, whoa. eighty four weeks in a row. Yeah, eighty four yeah. straight weeks. They beat that's, him in that's the name of his podcast. Eighty four weeks. Yeah. It's, it's, wow. I yeah, did like not he know had that. them niggas yeah. on the ropes. <laughs> that's yeah. That's DX. All that. That's a, that's a response. All that was a response. It was yeah. The whole had it. I just where it was to beat that eighty four weeks. Yeah, we got so Stone that, Cold, The Rock, Mankind, which is New the Age Outlaws. All that shit was because of eighty four weeks of getting their ass beat. Yeah. <laughs> so hold on. So did that did Attitude Era beat him? Did it? Eventually, after eighty four weeks. <laughs> I tell you what, the, 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 uh, I remember this. It was the night Mankind won the championship. Championship, yeah. And, uh, I, and actually, that happened. This is the anniversary of it was this week. So I didn't see Facebook um, Facebook post floating around it. Oh damn! It was like it was this week or this past week. It, I guess around because I didn't see Facebook post floating around about it. Who did he beat? He beat The Rock. The Rock was it The Rock? Was that? that yeah, it was, was a rock. It okay. was a rock. Because Tom Cole came down. That's when Triple H first started to get serious, where he started to be. No, because it was still DX. Because yeah. DX and the corporate and the corporation was fighting after that he the started. Match, yeah. And then Tom Cole came down and hit the rock with the chair, and then got back out of the ring. Yeah, I remember them days. Beautiful time yeah. for wrestling. It was. It was. It never be replicated. I did not know the eighty four weeks. That's something I should have known. It's definitely something you should have known. Did you be knowing he be knowing the most randomest wrestling fans. Like, did you know Booker T went to New York like, first? He must have watched, <laughs> watched like Nan Monday Night War documentary. No, that's why. That's why I, I did. That's I why. That's why that that was a shit. That was that was a good era. Man, Attitude Era is probably the best era. Next. I like ruthless aggression personally. Incredible. That was another incredible era. Yeah. I like the wrestling the attitude. If you think the about attitude it, Attitude Era had the best storylines, but trash ass wrestling. Trash wrestling. But Ruthless Aggression gave you decent storylines, but better in-ring product. Yeah, because yeah. I, I still remember that Eddie Guerrero and Brock Lesnar match. Yeah, that, that was, was like no way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was D- the DDT on top of the belt, man. And Fall Splash. I remember all that shit. You go to WrestleMania? Yeah. Damn. Taking my sons. I, first time they go. Yeah. Hold on, time well, WrestleMania is where in Texas. Dallas. How much is them tickets? Um, depends on where you, what you want to, but you want spent, where you want to sit. <laughs> I spent what? Well, I think I spent when I went at thirty five. I think I spent five. Five hundred. Yeah. That's almost. That's the most expensive ticket I ever bought for just myself in like history. <laughs> like, <laughs> not gonna speak on most expensive. Damn, shit, I can't do it. I can't. After five, five is my limit. I just spent the grand when I went to the Royal Rumble. You went to this past one? Yeah, oh, that's right. You sure did. Yeah, in St. I, Louis. Yeah. How was that live? Because oh, that was amazing. Home was like, <laughs> that's what everybody said. But I, it was a good ass. Maybe because I was there, but it was a good show to me. Especially, it, it probably do be a better show live. It's almost a good like when you watch baseball on TV. It's boring as shit. Yeah, but when you go to the game, yeah, yeah. It's so yeah. lit. You be like, because like me going to a Titans game, I was like, if you like on TV, it's just boring as shit. Yeah, it is. But it then is. you go to the actual event, you be like. I like this event. Like it's it's, a, it's an incredible experience. What do you think will happen with the title, Brock and Roman? Then we can switch to your uh, topic, Sterling. I think Roman gonna win. Well, we, what's gonna be happen to the title situation? But I, don't, think I eventually. I mean, what I've been reading, they say they talking about taking away the brand split, so it seems like they're going back to one title again. 
I don't like, like that. it, but I don't. But the thing about this, it makes sense. They didn't fire every goddamn body. They did. They they got enough people technically to run one roster because they fired every goddamn body. I think they should go back down to one title, especially like in the women's division, having them split. It ain't that many of them having them split between two shows. It it it's stupid. Yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna get fired if they do one. Ro- so what they gonna roster. call? Is it still gonna be called the undisputed title? They haven't said. No. They're just calling it a title unification match at this point. So title, for, title for title. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, they officially made a unification. They announced it on SmackDown. It's officially a unification match. So it's, that means it's, it's, a winner, it's a winner take all unification match. Did they do that with Becky and, and Ronda in 35? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, it was winner take all. But they didn't call they, it unification. They just left it. They didn't call it unification. See, yeah, that's they, key. Yeah, they're using that's the word key. unification now. So that's the thing that, you know, they're going to one belt. But I, I believe that's a smart move for them to go to. Uh, I just that. prefer the champions maybe go to both shows. Nah, it don't. Cause they don't have the inflated roster. To have, they, it's, it's probably because they realize and they fired every goddamn body. Yeah. This Royal Rumble put it, so, like, exploited the fact that they don't have anybody. Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? They fired, like, a shitload of people. They fired, 90, within the last 18 months, they fired 94 people. So, what was Royal Rumble looking like? What is that? Like, it was. A lot of legends. It was a lot of legends. Versus talent. It yeah. was like damn near. It was like. Especially the it was like It was like the women's. It was like 50-50. Yeah. The men's. It was like 70-30. Yeah. Yeah. They had to. It was a, <laughs> like damn. Like they had to go get Summer Rae for the women's rumble. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then called her a legend. Yeah. Why did they call. <laughs> just call them alumni. Right. You don't work there no more. Alumni. <laughs> like Summer Rae's not a legend. I'm sorry. But why are yeah. they firing everybody like that? Budget cuts. Supposedly they about to sell. They yeah yeah record profits, but they keep claiming budget cuts. Yeah, but I think they just they're prepping the company. Who the WWE about to sell? I yeah, think they're prepping. It, it seems like they're prepping it for sale to NBC. Oh, shit, man, I don't. It seems like they're prepping it for sale. All the moves they're making is like yeah. the corporations do when they're trying to make themselves more valuable for I a mean, sale. Who's who's beating them? I mean, who? I mean, AEW not beating them. Uh, it ain't about that. It's just about more money, and then I think it's honestly the Vince just don't want to hand it to nobody. That's some bullshit. I just honestly think that's what it is. He don't want to get. He's being Vince and don't want to give it. He don't want to give it to the I kids, will, so he's just gonna sell it and I then retire. That him and Triple H is really into it. Yeah, because he he took over NXT. Yeah, he dismantled NXT. He's dismantled. Do you still watch that? I it's entertaining. I like. I just watch because it's Tuesdays and shit else on Tuesdays. So it's I, not. So it's like you can it's it's getting better though. It's not like how it's it's getting better, but you can tell the blatant difference. The key to lions though, oh my god. <laughs> Them yams and took over the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Is that the who? The key to lions. No. I'm gonna show you her in a minute. Poor okay if you can. <laughs> I I just I oh man, for wrestling right now, it's just like it's they need some, another route to be more entertaining. Like they need something else. Like Brock is running literally the WWE by itself. No, Roman is not Brock. Roman yeah. is. You don't think Brock is? I mean, he he's a good part, but Roman is running that shit right now. Now nah, I gotta give it to Brock. Brock, no, but this run of Brock has been my favorite. Like him right. being a fan favorite. No nah, trash. Like you fan favorite trash? Brock is so fan this, family Brock is hilarious. Fan favorite Brock is hilarious. Yeah, this is fan the best favorite. Brock I've seen. Oh yeah, like yeah. him taking, like him just interacting with people, with doing the cheap pops. I'm like, this is just. It's weird. Maybe because it's a, a whole three, like a whole one eighty from what he was. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like this Remember, is best. Far, Farmer Brock is funny. He's he, he didn't talk or do shit at first. Yeah, now he talking, doing his own promos, taking selfies with people. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> they need to keep this for like two, three years, because I know they're gonna try to turn him back heel sooner or later. Yeah, sooner. I don't or later. know like how long of a deal he signed. Do you remember he f five uh, Michael Cole out his shoe? No, that shit that was, was funny. Hilarious. Yeah, that was that Raw After Mania. What was that? This guy. Because I was there. I was there. Yeah, I was about to say, I was there. At least was that Raw After Mania after WrestleMania 34? I it had say. to be. I'm 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 just happy wrestling had moved. I, I was so happy when they moved out the John uh, Cena yeah. era. So, uh, in your opinion, real quick, back to the uh, the show, though, your show. Mm-hmm. Who's... Give me a top top five. I'm not like, gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you see, because I'm gonna forget somebody. Like it's hard. Because I mean, seven years. You gotta think about. It. I've it's hundreds of people. Like it's it's hard to like, and I'm going. 
Every time I do it, then I think about it later. I'm like, oh, such such such. It, it happens. All right, or give me one person that that impressed you. Like, huh? They go. That's on. even worse. You talking about fire? Now you talking about give you one? <laughs> I, I figure if you give me one, you like. Anytime you have a top, you always go back on it. Even when you like, you know, your top five best rappers, you like. This that this that. that you think wait, oh, my list never changes on the top five. Well, we're gonna talk about. It. We gotta bring that back. We gotta bring it back. My, my top five change every other week. Nope, nope. Mine's changed from time to time, but not that frequently. No, nah, mine's changed. My top three remains the same regardless. But the the last two they they change often. I go back and forth with the last two. So what's the biggest? All right, I ask you this then. What's the biggest difference in the talent then versus like when you first started to come around the SE days? Um, the talent like we, based up the I guess. Hmm. I mean, SC days. I was like I said, we was dealing primarily with like ninety percent poetry, and on my end, it's the opposite way. I'm like ninety percent hip hop artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that's like one big thing. But I see is, is artists, 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 artists. You know. Artists, we we weird yeah. people. Yeah, artists, we we tend to be weird people. Yeah, we are. We're you know, special. That's artists. just what we are. That what makes us creatives. You know what I'm saying? So you got your typical stupid artist dramas that happen between artists, people fucking people. You know, so it's still the same. It's, yeah, it's still like the same. it's essentially the same shit. It's just different people. <laughs> Damn. Why the hell? I, I see that on a movie though. Okay. Do <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you go? Or do you do? Because I do this sometimes when I see new people. Like that's the new, or that's the next Omari, or that's the next. No, I haven't really got because I because artists are. I mean, I tell they, some people if they got like certain vibes, but yeah, but I, I mean, you say it to yourself, not to them. Obviously. Yeah, but like I you know, like certain vibes, but I just. I just got to the point that I just take every artist as they own and just see what they do and how they grow. And Look at them all adult and mature answer. That's a, that's a good media training you have, sir. No, I'm just, I'm just being honest, though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I'm just keeping it. That's my keeping it the buck answer. Like, it's just. Yeah. Because, like, it's no point of comparing somebody to another one because they doing they It's different time frames. It's different subject matter. It's different life experiences that people have. So, it's just that is different. That's facts. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just it's different. The but but you can hear, but you can, like, get vibes out of certain people. Like, oh, they remind you something, but you, they still doing their own thing. So. Okay. Who, who, you, who ran the day say spot? They say been done. Yeah, they say been done, but what era? You got the Marsha Carter era? I mean, era? When they, the last era was there yes, with JB and, that, was JB and Peace. J. Bell and Peace. Era. Yeah. But the last era, when they closed, that was um, J. Bell and Peace. Yep. So yeah. they say it's closed now? Not I the mean, restaurant. I mean, the restaurant's the still there, but they haven't had poetry there. I mean, open mic during like, it's been at least three years. Yeah. Because I went to the last show. Did you? Yeah. I wanted to go, but I can't go. It, it, it was like, damn, it was damn near like the never ended open mic because it was everybody fucking came. And they was just the, they was determined to try to get everybody to at least get like a piece, and there was just damn near never in the open mic. <laughs> damn, I wish I seen that. I remember the couple shows. I mean, the shows that I did go to. They was, but yeah, it's been at least three years. It might be longer than that. It might be four or five. Cause it's two days, age, right? No. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is a new. Yeah, it is a new day. Say, like I think it's what on. I heard they got bad food. Yeah, I heard the food is different from. I mean, obviously different cooks, but. It's a big difference, like just like the starters, like the other starters outside is different than going to the one on where you might get shot at on Plymouth. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we used to go to that used to be the spot back in the yeah. Uh, what an era! <laughs> That's what I said. Like, you have you spoke to her? No. Oh man, no. she's no. fine. Yeah. Who? What's that, Marsha? Marsha Clark. Is, is that what you talking about? Yeah. I thought you were talking about the old days at at Wendy's. Oh. No, I haven't. I haven't spoken to her. I seen her on IG, but I haven't really spoken to her for real. For real. Yeah, because even J. Bell and Peace, they just moved to Atlanta last month. Did they? Yeah, I'm so out the loop. I just randomly, <laughs> I just randomly found out on Instagram. I was like, "They're doing in Atlanta." Damn. <laughs> they said they just up and what they say they needed to change and they just left. Damn. What a story of them too. That's yeah. a, they got an amazing story. How they did that shit. That's crazy. Were you not married yet? No. You don't plan to be? No. Ever? No. Wow. Damn. Oh, I got something I can see my teeth into. Okay, great. Why, why, why? <laughs> There's nothing that I feel in my bones that I feel I have to do. How do they respond to this? Uh, <laughs> they respond to it like, oh, you're not married. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
me I'm, again, this is Brad. So talking, I'm I'm very upfront with people. I I'll tell Lady Man like this is not something I'm not gonna want to do. So if you don't, you can't accept that. If you have to leave, I accept that. I feel that because that's some shit. That, that's the one. That's I mean, cause my thing is like I don't. I'm not gonna say marriage is a sham because it's not. Okay. But it's people that, but it's like in this society right now, marriage ain't shit. It's, it, they, it's not. It's not the 70s, 80s when people got married and it was for the right reasons and y'all. It's a financial thing now. It's a business. It's always yeah. been a business though. Marriage is a business. No, because back, like, probably like when our parents and our grandparents, they married for love. They did. And I'm not saying people now don't get married for love. I'm not they saying don't. they don't. They don't. But a lot of people right now I'm get not, married not. for the, they like, when I saw that Facebook post, I saw somebody earlier, like, people get married, people these days get married for the, the wedding versus the marriage. That's Ooh. facts. Because you always want to have that memory of your wedding. And they just wanted to say, "Girl, I got married. He, I'm married now." It, yeah, like people, the, like like it's like it's a saddest symbol. But you like, it. I think it's like I respect what marriage is so much that I know if my heart not in it, why would I do it? Talk to the people that been married from 2010 to now. They they always had the memory of how good they wedding was. And I know some people that they got divorced. Like it's just I know way more divorced people than I know married people. And it's like I'm talking about like a 60 40 split. Possibly seventy five, twenty five. <laughs> like it's just, like it's just, yeah. I mean, I feel them because I right now I don't, even though it's something that I want, I don't have the desire to get married. And that's the thing, like I don't, like I respect what marriage is, like I respect what it is all day long. Like I feel like, like you respect it enough to know, like okay, no, this is not for me. Yeah, because my thing is like, my, I'm a firm believer. If you get married, nigga, you it. That's done. It's a wrap. Hang it up. Jersey in the rafters. Burn yeah. the black book. Bitch, you done. <laughs> you know that's, what I'm saying? That's facts. that's facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's I respect it that much. You know what I'm saying? So if I know my, and for you to be in that position, you got to be 100% mentally involved, invested, and know this is what. All right, so let me, I got a question for you. Yeah. So how do you feel about when we see so many things on, like, on TV when people be like, you got to spice up your relationship so they bring, like, a third party in it for a threesome or something like that? Death trial. <laughs> 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 because do, because my it. thing is it's like most people as we're as humans we're territorial. You can call it, you can lie, I don't give a fuck. We're territorial. Yeah. Especially 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 that too. But that, well, that's part of being territorial though. That's mm-hmm. part of that that goes into it. So at the end of the day, if you got feelings from somebody, male or female, you don't want no one else's penis in that vagina or or vagina on that penis. At and at some point, you're, that's this this gonna. I mean, I know in this area where polygamy is bigger and more accepting. Yeah, kumbaya, fuck that. That's all these niggas that say they polygamous is cap, as these kids say. <laughs> cap, cap, cap. <laughs> Could be the cap, cap, cap. Fuck that. No, I mean it's people that make it working. Good for you, but again, this from what I'm seeing, that shit don't really. It might work for like a little while, but yeah, eventually. I, Love, feelings, That's our all that shit is going to get into it. To me, that's the shortest marriages I'm seeing nowadays. The, one, the ones where I see people inviting. Because my um, thing is, I think another part of it is, like if you, like you said, trying to spice something up, you bring somebody in. If that person you bring in is doing all the shit that you don't, that the other person ain't doing, eventually your brain going to go, like if that is, the third person is filling the gap. They're, they're filling some kind of gap. They're filling some void. So if they're, so if they're filling that void, but also doing... The other shit too, mm-hmm. that's just your you your brain's eventually gonna go like, well, wait a minute, yeah. If I'm ninety uh, percent happy when she's around, I'm forty to fifty percent when she ain't around. When I'm just with her, your heart, your brain, your common sense can be like, well, what the fuck going on with her? Let me let me let me let me see what this do. Explain. That's a very let me let me see what this let me go on and see what this just by itself. Let me. Not only, not you know only that, I did a um, show called The Deeper Part of Marriage. And it, it goes into a deeper part when you invite different energies and all that into your bedroom. Because a marriage is supposed to be as one. That part. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? When you be as one, you invite these different souls and and all that into your into your life. It kind of disrupted. Like you got, you supposed to be as one, you bring in another person. That's right. a, um, so that's what you call that, an improper faction? Or a mix, a mix, a mix fraction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
So when you do that, it, it tears the it, it tears it down so slowly. You know what I'm saying? I hear a lot of people who who said, well, you know what I'm saying? If if you need all that to satisfy you in sex, right. maybe you shouldn't be fucking married. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is like my thing is if you're gonna bring somebody else in, that shit gotta be a one and done. Like, you know, like some what happened to Vegas, stay in Vegas. Mm-hmm. We gonna get this yeah. bitch for the one night, we gonna slut her out, and we're done. That's fact. <laughs> <laughs> You can't even if you yeah. want to do it again. It can't be with that same bitch. You got to find new bitch. Right. You can't re slut out. The that's probably out. the safest way to do it. Like you can't re slut out. The, no, because then that's when you they going you start getting each other's business. Y'all start knowing shit, and then eventually somebody gonna see something. Like I said, that third person eventually is filling some kind of void with one of the partners, and then it's gonna be a mess. Right. And I've seen so many times when people with them brought in the third person, and then one of them leave with the third person. Yep. Somebody get left behind. It could be me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, if you're going to do it, there's got to be some one and done. What happens, stay, happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That, that, Bitch, I'm not even saving your number in my phone. Right. No, you can't follow me on Instagram. When we done, I'm no blocking ties. you. <laughs> no type of time. Yeah. And that's kind of the reason why I'm, I'm, I can't, I don't, like I said, it's something that I want, but I'm not going to get married because I know how I am right now in the state of mind that I am. You see me, I'm too selfish to invite another person in. Yeah, that's it. Like my, if I'm, if my girl, I'm not no nigga or girl, no, 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 no. That's yeah, fine. no, no. I can't do it. I just, I can't. Like I know mentally, I'm not that person. Right. Nope. Like I, I've never had a threesome. Don't care to have one. I thought you did. You a wild boy, but you never had a threesome. Well, I told you that. I, I, I had like a two. I, and, I had like a two and a half. <laughs> I'm scared that's to like, even. <laughs> you see, damn. Like, like, <laughs> like two girls giving me head at the same time. All right, that's never went to like. That's out. But then they go to like full, like full fledged. I don't know where you went. like a go. midget. <laughs> like, you that's where I was going. I ain't gonna lie. That's where I was going. Like, like you had a midget in one. I was like, oh my God, please don't let it be. Well, I, used okay. to be well, I used to bounce to the state theater them after them Channel 955 Saturday Night Boys. Woo. Some wild days for me. Woo. Yeah. I, <laughs> I never. Praise I never, God. I never had <laughs> I never had one. I, I don't. I don't care to have one. Like I didn't have opportunities. Yeah, I'm in proposition. I have, I just, but it was also young. It was also young. It wasn't like yeah. bitches out. Like somebody I was dating seriously. You know, so I didn't hit two girls in a night. Sometimes three. Oh, now that's now yeah. You wild boy, but also I've I'm done the multiples too. in a day. Yeah. 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 Like I, the y'all be feeling nasty when y'all. Or yeah, you yeah, I didn't hit. Yeah. And <laughs> nah. I didn't hit eight chicks in five <laughs> nights. <laughs> I mean, but that was me and my me and my twenties was a whole nother nigga. <laughs> me and my twenties, yeah, it's a and whole, whole nother nigga. Seventeen to about twenty eight, and I like I said, I hit hit eight chicks in five nights. The shit I used to have to do. You ever get, get the gas on your hands? To, to, <laughs> I, I fill up like, yep, <laughs> this shit will come off me. <laughs> I get hot chips. I eat hot chips. Oh, you silly. <laughs> Gotta edit that out just in case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny as fuck. Jeez. Yeah, 20, 20, <laughs> hey, 20 year old, 20 year old Sterlo, he, he was vicious. That that man was vicious. I, I mean, I wouldn't do none of this stuff now because I don't have the patience to deal with that type of. That's what, it, that's what it mostly is, for real. Yeah, I like, I just don't even feel like. Tattoos. Like, just like I said, even though I'm not ready for marriage, I don't like dealing with so many women at once. Like my mind, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I had a girl that was okay. She'd be like, "Yeah, you can still." Do. But like in my mind, like it's just a headache and it's a financial burden, and I ain't in that tax bracket to be doing that kind of shit. Right. Like, I'm not doing this shit. Yeah. I don't want to pay for my own dinner. I barely want to pay for your shit. You want another bitch too? No. Yeah. She's right. <laughs> Look, like I got kids, I got enough extra expenses. You want a whole nother adult? Kiss my ass. Yeah. <laughs> then, it, then, then for me, I remember. This, I think I told you this story to you last week. When we was getting out the car, I, I was en- I was engaged. I had been engaged three times. One of the engagements that I had, I was engaged um, to a stripper. When you told me this, I was so shocked because I do not remember her. Because I'm, I'm a private person. So this is the first time you're hearing Now he's a private person. Right. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. After 20 while, years, not a single private. Listen, I'm private. A lot of people don't know a lot of shit I done done. But I wasn't, and I hate to put it just out because if she hears the shit, she probably going to get pissed off. 
I'm not really, re- I'm not really reckoning for her to, you know, what I'm saying, reference her to a stripper, but that's what she was. So we got, when we first got engaged, like, it kind of felt like it was like the Jim Jones and Chrissy situation. Wow, what a reference! Because I was in, I was wow. in, I was in Vegas having fun. You know, what I'm saying what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas, but she, she's talking to me, and she's telling me, "You bullshit! I want this life and this life, and this, or whatever, whatever." So when I got back home. I had um, proposed to it. Only out of the is what she wanted. So first go around, I was just like, it's kind of just going with the flow. We planning the wedding and whatever the case may be, whatever. Um, I felt like she kept trying to little man me the first time. So long story short, I just bu- I just bust up on her ass, left her. Second time was probably more of the same, but. I stepped up more to the plate. I'm like, all right, look. It was more of me wanting the situation now. She wanted it, but I wanted it just like she did. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of two households. I'm paying her bills as well as mine. Because around this time, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? I had like almost three jobs. Or whatever the case may be. Okay. So at times, I'm financially able to do this. Or whatever. So I'm, I'm like making, you know what I'm saying, money. Because, you know what I'm saying, I'm a full, full-time full manager. I'm working with my landlord. We we doing these jobs or whatever like that. Getting paid pretty good. I'm taking care of home. Her home and my home. Right. Paying her bills, making sure she's set every morning. Whatever the case is. Bills two houses? Yeah, we had two separate places. At the time, we was yeah, going. Wild boy too. Yeah, I told you he wild boy. <laughs> At the time, we was just waiting. Yeah, no. Yeah, I was on some crazy shit. Like I was spending like wild money. Like I was literally paying her rent and my rent, paying her light bill and my guys. And I wasn't okay, light bill. Cool. That's hundred, hundred fifty. But two rents. Yeah, two rents. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, no, plural no, rents. I was paying. I was paying her shit. Her shit wasn't up like mine. Her shit was like, like was she on section A or something? Oh, you talking about real rent? No, uh, real rent. See, hers was Two like... Two real rents? Her shit was like... <laughs> that's the vital question. I, I wanna, her, <laughs> her shit was like... Section in the six hundred, Like in the 600 range. See, like time. I said, I played two rents and one of them Section A because they ain't probably number $38. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's fact. Right. That's fact. Right. No, her shit was real. Her shit was like there, there, late 60s, early 70s. Mine was like eight alone. So at the time I'm so you paying like fifteen hundred dollars a month in rents. Yeah, at the time I was able, <laughs> at the time I was Wild. able to do that because I was financially. Yeah, I got you. Cool. At the time, I wouldn't do that shit now because yeah, I'm not that no more. You know what I'm saying? But then we slow that shit right on down, nigga. Like, all right. So I'm, I'm doing I'm doing this. This is how much I really didn't give a fuck. So again, she goes to Atlanta. It's a trip. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of my stepdaughter. Everything at the time. She goes to Atlanta. She comes back. She's like, all right, you need to be packing up. I'm like, who need to be packing up? You. I got us a house in Atlanta. First of all, you ain't fucking talk to me. We ain't get this house together. I don't even know if, you, if this is really your fucking house. Right. So, again, I tried to deal with that. But I just, again, I just felt like she was trying to love me. me. So, I... I tried to stick around, but again, I, I left her. I got the fuck on. Hell and no. She hates me to this day. I bet she does. Like she don't want shit to do. do like it. you ghost her? Yeah, I left her. I <laughs> le- that's, that's, you know what I was saying? Shit. Like she just came home and the drawer, like, I mean, the, like, the, like the, the classic too. TV thing. She came home, the drawers was all pulled out. That is funny out. as fuck. <laughs> listen, listen. That's. I, I, Half the hankers is hanging in the closet. The way I <laughs> the left captain it crunched off the refrigerator. <laughs> I thought the first time was fine, but the way I left it the second time, it was fine because. Wait a minute, you left it more than once? <laughs> <laughs> you been leaving cruise shit out, sir. <laughs> no, but remember I said I said I was with it twice. The oh, first yeah, he time, did. Okay. I, I bust up. I bust up this time, but this time, I shot her a text. <laughs> Like was wow. like the key under the mat, like key under the mat. Like, That's one thing they do not respect a Look, text breakup. I was like, listen, uh, I love you. They blah, do blah, not blah. take that shit lightly. Yeah, he hit her with the Harlem nice via text. Hey, hey, Bobby, this Richie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sent, I sent it to her. 
She didn't respond. I just left. I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I just <laughs> left it. I left it alone. And that's another reason why. The nigga I, got scared. They got nervous. <laughs> We're waiting on her. He said, <laughs> he's, he's going to text me. He's already in the car all packed up. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, got the fuck, I got the fuck on. Like, like cause she stayed in like, Harlem. Um, I said Harlem, but Highland Park at the time in that apartment. It's like Harlem. You you right. <laughs> <laughs> so um I, I left when I left the crib, you know, so I left her kids stuff there. And um like I said, I shot her a text and told her Hey Papa, it's Richie. <laughs> and I was just like like I said, I wrote her Lady Cocaine. <laughs> it makes it so bad. I even I even left the the rent money for that month. I left. I let her kick that. See, I didn't leave no kick. Well, at, least, well, at least, at least, at least, at least you were sinking on the rent. So I let her. She had a month. She had a month to figure she, it she, out. She, yeah, <laughs> listen, she still got the ring and the rent. She still had all that. What's the pettiest shit you took for a breakup? I don't I, think I, I, I can't. I, I don't think I've never. I've never. I don't think because I. Oh, I, I'll tell you the Ethernet kind of cord. Damn. <laughs> the Ethernet. You, like, you want to have no fast uploads, bitch? I bought this Ethernet nope. cord. Nope. <laughs> nope. nope. You nope. know how petty you got to be to wrap up an Ethernet cord neatly? Yeah, like, your arm, like, you think you doing something? You think you like, doing something, bitch? Like, turn them <laughs> off. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's the pettiest thing that I, I probably, I took a phone back. Yeah. I took a phone That's back. right. I've done that. Yeah, I took so a phone I turned back. the phone off. Yeah, that too. I was like, bitch, give me my phone. Yeah, I didn't I want the phone I back. Know. Yeah, I was I just like, I was just like, turn it off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, you ain't gonna call no niggas on this bitch. And it was a flip phone. I changed my passwords too to Netflix and everything. Oh, that's petty. That's what super petty. You think you think new you know, boo about to see old? Bitch, you ain't watching me do my, my <laughs> password, bitch. Uh, <laughs> you think new boo ain't about to watch old boo's uh, account and shit? And uh, he can make it on account now. Uh, Fuck that. She about to get something. Fuck that. I think you about to. <laughs> think you about to watch Snowfall on my Hulu? <laughs> yeah, you, you can't be watching the same shows, and I see you watching the same shows. Uh, that shit happened to me, though. I didn't realize. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, I, who the, who the fuck it. you over there watching Euphoria with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, mean, I see you've been watching this shit, so... Uh, what's like, that? I, like, I know this new episode's already been watched, <laughs> and I've been at work. Like, that's why. That's why. Like, who uh, you been watching Euphoria with? <laughs> that's why. Uh, what you gotta have her Hulu, and she let me keep it. When we started getting into it, I think I mean we wasn't even together, but she let me keep the Hulu. And I was watching the Hulu one day. I go, you know, what I'm saying I go fix my food, got me some drink, go to sit down, and expect it to watch this show. It's <laughs> <laughs> all that I'm like, you can't be fucking serious right now. That oh, you, is, oh, you got a jail. Oh, you got evicted. <laughs> That's why I don't like that shit. That's why anytime T Mobile be like free, t- free uh, Apple TV. Yep, sign me up. Sign like, me up for another one. Like even like now, me, you know, what I'm saying me and uh, my situation now, we kind of got a um a, a YouTube TV thing going on right now, and that shit is awesome. Yeah, that's what I use YouTube TV. You know what I'm saying? And, oh yeah, yeah. And we got we got cool. we got a little agreement going on or whatever like that or whatnot. So. I was hoping she'll never get mad enough at me and stop that shit. Then she hear that she can be like, yep. She's like, yeah, this, this shit's over with. Yep. So she <laughs> Go ahead and change this password so they'll log you out. <laughs> but look, we got, we got, me and her has a dope ass relationship. Like, we're not together. But together? Yeah. Those I'm are like, the best. And, those we don't, are and listen, the we best. don't, we don't, we don't. You know, we gotta get them girls hand down. Yeah, they man. <laughs> like, all jokes aside, man, it's so dope and it's so, we so truthful with one another. That's why I don't think that ever will happen. Like, it's a situation like we we're like really truthful with one another. Well, that's good. Like, if she's if she's dating somebody, like, hey, bro, you doing your thing right, right. now? We not together. I ain't gonna get that. I ain't gonna get mad at you, but you know where home at. Mm-hmm. It's, it's vice versa. Like, you know where home. Hey, do what you do, but you know where home at. And, we, and it's a lot of shit that we do together financially. So it's like, it's a dope situation for me. You know? Yeah. So. Okay, who you, uh, who you still talk to? Like, uh, the people I would know, like, from my generation. That sounds weird, my generation. Um. I mean, Untitled, because that's my brother. No, my bro. Where so. is Un? Yeah, he's in the crib and working at Quicken. Um. 
So that's bro. So that's all he always that was his bro before this portrait shit anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. Afi. That's my girl. Um, we got to get her on here too. Shit, that list is dwindling down because I just be out the way. Um, from back then, Lucky. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see people like out and about, but honestly, that's really that's it. I mean, one single Rose. I love Rosie. Um, Louisa Pheromones. Her and Low Done it. I keep up with them. Okay. Okay. Um, shit, that's, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's about it? I mean, you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right here, nigga. Right. Like, <laughs> I mean, like I said, I no. mean, when I see niggas out in the street, you know, it's all love, that kind of thing, but, no. So you stay inside for the most part? Yeah, I just be, I move, no, I see who I see. Cause I'm like I'm a homebody now. I'd be at the fucking crib. Like I just be. That's another thing too. Coming back, it's like oh my god, y'all don't start till ten. Like <laughs> ten is like, my body like starts to like shut it, down. Like I don't really like, especially like during the week. I'm not. It's got to be some important shit for me to come out of, out of the house during the week. For sure. Like like Carl Kingston had like a thing on Friday, and it was like that's because it's him, and he. I knew he was going to have like a dope experience, which it was. So. That got me out on a Friday, and then because I was out, I went to some uh, like another another event because I was I was in the streets. Yeah, but for me to initially get that first step, of, that first step, that first step, of, so I done got rough. I came home from work, I didn't got undressed, and I didn't turned on the TV, and for me to get back and put on some work clothes and then go back out in the world. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't like once I get home. It's yeah, like I'm, I'm I'm in that stage of life. Like when I'm in the crib, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be my balance because I already know it's gonna be rough. You don't so like standing out late, do you? Not no more. Yeah, that same for back me. In, back in the day, shit, it wasn't shit. Stay up t- t- I, I, two, I, three, spent rounds talking shit. Get, I remember getting shit. from a event the next day and shit like that. Now, mm, by like 9 o'clock. The old Artist Village days, we didn't start at 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, that's why I don't even go to like G Smooch in that basement. Cause the motherfuckers be in there at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'll be that's asking wild. people. Like, how like they, don't even, they don't even be putting their features up to them near midnight. Like, no, nigga. Not me. No, yeah, sir. that's no, too see. late. That's too like, late. Like, my show wrap up, like, at the latest at 12, and that's only if I'm, like, just, I didn't somehow lost track of time, but I try to be done by, like, 11, 11, 30, because I got to work in the morning. Ooh, you know what I'm a, saying? It wasn't shit back then. When I was 22 and doing the hosting, it wasn't shit to stay up all night, like, go to work. 20s. Yeah. 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 Like, go, get, going to sleep at 4 in the morning, getting right back up at 6. Man. Having to be at work at 7. Yeah, that's wild. I can't do yeah, that shit no yeah, more. I can't at all. When I get up, I get up. I got to sit on the side of the bed, reflect on life. Right. You got to <laughs> play on your phone for a little while. Go to the bathroom. Get that motivation to finally roll out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shower. Get out of the shower. Probably sit on the side of the bed a little bit longer. Man. Just think. Finally put on your clothes. You pull along with that. You be like, shit. Man. I got to go to work. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Nah. Uh, we up there. We getting up there. You know your love languages. The girl, the ladies. If the lady, one of the ladies was here, she'll ask you what's your love language. So I'm gonna ask for <coughs> pause. If right. I, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Comfortable, my mas- <laughs> Comfortable masculinity. So I understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, understanding when I want to be left the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, he feel uh, you about this? Uh, like that? <laughs> you better like, tell my whole story right now. Hold on. Like, like that's just that's just my that's. That is the one way to get on my bad side, cause like I'm my only child, so I'm like I can. It's nothing for me to be by myself. Hey, that's me. You know what I'm saying? So it's Did nothing. It's, alone. Like it's just, it's nothing for me to be by my or I have my moves where I just even though I got kids and everything and stuff like that, like I still have my my kids know at certain moments leave daddy the fuck alone. <laughs> Very <laughs> fact. You know what I'm saying? Like I so, I just have my, my moments. And I was like, I don't want to talk. I don't. Just, I just want to watch TV. I don't want to. I just want to watch TV. I'm watching this show. But let me Leave ask, me the fuck alone. Why women don't understand it? Why they think it's always got to be some shit, some crazy shit going on? Because, like, my last relationship, she, I'm like, let me just get this day to myself. Babe, I have been with you for four straight days. Because they think let, let me get if they day. spend the time with you, you spend the time with somebody else. They ain't spend time it's with you. It's not the fucking case. I'm really just in here playing the fucking game, looking on my phone, doing completely nothing. Let me do nothing. That's what I want to do. It's nothing. 
without you the fuck in my face. Because my thing is like I'm I'm no maintenance as hell. Like I really don't want much because I again because I'm I'm a I grew up only child, so I'm used to just being by myself. It's not <laughs> not an adjustment thing for me, right? And then I'm self sufficient, so it's like I'm low maintenance as hell. It's like when I want to do something, I'm gonna let you know. That's probably like, I don't have a problem with a little casual communication, but sometimes I just don't want to fucking talk to nobody. Sometimes I just want to sc- stroll on the internet but not respond to a text message. Sometimes I want to sit here and watch my show. Oh, they see you live. <laughs> you- Boy, well, I don't go, well, I don't go. I'm not, not a live, live person, but see but, you. You know how a Facebook message would be like, yeah, yeah they, they online. Yeah, that or they can see you commenting. Um, like, I could be Ooh. like, like, yeah, so what else? Commenting on somebody's st- status, but I didn't call you back. So the fuck? Oh, if you're on text. You can comment on Facebook, but you can't comment. You can't return you can't, my text. Can't say that to me. And then my, and that's just where Brasshole comes in because I'm a, I'm gonna look at you dead in your face with a stern look. You dead in your I'm like, and so I don't care. Oh yeah, you, you <laughs> might be the ultimate savage. Yeah, I thought, and it's not. It's, not to be a, it's just not. It's not to be a savage. Just I guess because of the age I'm at, I'm just like. I don't have time for bullshit, and I'm not going to subject myself to the bullshit. Right, and I'm not, probably, I'm not going to give you bullshit, so I'm not going to take your bullshit. Right, that's probably why I'm not in a relationship. So right they going to say, well, what are we doing here? What are we doing there? Like, like, don't ask me the fuck questions. I'm not <laughs> answering them. Like, no, because my thing is I tell anybody, like, friendship, relationship, anyway, like, if you feel you don't, you can't deal with me, then bye. There's that's no nice. hard feelings. Like, I, it's going to be love one, this way still. One, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? If you didn't wrong me, then it's always going to be love, respect, admiration. We, we all that shit, here, right? So what? We been yeah, yeah come on, come on with it. I just, Bring I, just, I just kind of got out. Of, I'm in a situation like that, like you know, what I'm saying, like I was just, I was talking to you. I'm in a situation like that. Like, if I'm telling you what it is from the beginning, that how part, you, how, how, I'm like, I'm being honest. Hey, listen, I ain't looking for it right now. Like, I'm healing. You know, I got a situation when I'm still healing from. I just want to chill. I just want to have fun. Yeah, we can go out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, have fun. Have fun. Go to the movies. But you never have sex with this person. But this person turns around and tells you in reverse psychology, he tries to, it says, you breaking my heart because you know that I love you, X, Y, Z. I didn't tell you to. But I didn't tell that part. Like, I didn't tell you to. As a matter of fact, I told you you can date other people. But I want to be with you. You cannot force me to be with you right now. Like my famous catchphrase is like, "I'm going to be upfront with all of my bullshit." <laughs> I like that. I'm going to give you all of my bullshit upfront, so you can make a rational decision for yourself. Even if you're <laughs> about me now, I'm very honest now. Like, it's here's a- my bullshit. If you feel you can't handle my bullshit, we can be cool. Right. That's for, I'm perfectly fine with that. Yeah, I got to get with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I graduate. I let them graduate to certain steps. Like you, can, like you can tell when somebody gets to the point that they might be feeling away, and you get like, "Hey, this is how I am." Right. No, I'm not going to deviate from this. This is me. If you feel that fits what you have going on, cool. If you feel it don't, cool. We can still just be cool, brand whatever. Not I'm not mad at you either. Whatever decision you make, I'm not gonna be mad. When you could do that, that's but that's my point. That's, that's, what, that's the true knowledge yourself. Yeah, that's, that's the point. I'll be honest with, that's the, that's with everybody. Like, pe- and motherfuckers attach me. Like, it is this why you you not in a relationship? I'm not in a relationship because I don't want one right now. I sincerely don't mm-hmm. want one because I don't have the time that you need for me. I can't give you the time that you're expecting. Because I'm doing so much shit right now. So why would I teach you out of that? And I'm being totally honest with you. Yeah. But you still put yourself in a predicament and you still pushing to do something like sex races. All right, look, I'm a man, you're a woman. If we fuck around and fuck, you push this issue. I'm a man. My dick gonna get hard from me. So therefore, I fuck you. And if your vagina right. ends up wrapping around my penis, then all right, hey, that's, 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 that's just what I. But don't tell me that. <laughs> that don't sit up there and tell me like, okay, you are in the wrong for doing that. No, bitch, you want it just as bad as I did. You can't push it for it. All I did is follow your ass at the door. And ain't no wrong in that. That's not my fault because your feelings keep going. Uh, you laid it up. I flushed the. I flushed the alley Right. Don't keep on. Don't Get keep the, pushing it. The, the, the D Wade to the Jort, the D Wade to LeBron, Ali. Just <laughs> <laughs> like you knew, you knew what it was from the beginning, man. Like I told you that shit. Like that shit is so frustrating for me right now in my life because this is like 
I don't t- I don't put, make no promises to nobody. Like I said, I'm an honest dude nowadays. I tell you straight up from the beginning what it what it is and what what I want. And right now, I can't give you the. F- yeah, it may look like I could be the ideal guy that you want, but I'm not. I'm telling you that I'm not. Quit pushing for it. I'm being honest with you. Blood from a stone, not gonna get it. Exactly. Cause that's just some old things. Like I just. My thing is like I'm not in a space where I'm not about to go through a, like a proven situation. I'm not gonna try to overcome a, over, overcome a hurdle. I'm 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 Ooh. just I'm just I'm not gonna do it. Like I'm I'm just gonna look at you like you fucking stupid. And some of them have, <laughs> some, have so many high expectations. You'd be like, "All right, so you want me to go do this, that, or other to get to you?" Like I'm not I'm not doing it. Like I'm, I'm good, baby. Like this is where I'm. This is me. You you hey you want to be friends or whatever? Cool. If not. Cool. Hey. <laughs> how you how you feel about them wanting to wait uh like ninety days or whatever for they want to wait for? They get to do what the hell they want to do. They ain't gonna do necessarily with me and with how I'm gonna move. Right. Because if you <laughs> I mean if again, you you what you want to do is what you want to do. You ain't that does, it doesn't. That don't mean I'm gonna be subjected to it. That's your life. That's your decisions. I don't have a have problem. fun. Knock yourself have, out. I don't have a problem with the 90, <laughs> I don't have a problem with the ninety day rule. I really don't. Just, just like you said, it's, it's what you want to do. But please believe. Like, I'm going to respect what you're doing, but just know that that's your life, right. not mine. Now, if you see me. <laughs> what does that be like? If you, love, if you respect me, you will wait for me. You know how they. I will wait for then that, that, that means you're putting your life on me. And I'm not, just like I'm right. not going to project my shit on you, don't project your shit on me. Exactly. I'm going to get some pussy somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> like I might mess around and might wait, but I'm not gonna feel obligated. Fuck no, I'm not obligated to do and shit. I, but stay black down and take care of my kids. And see, that's probably that's probably <laughs> what's shit. what's wrong with a lot of like when they finally get married. It's like you already live in a marriage life as just piece girlfriend. of paper. Yeah, girlfriend or boy. Now you just brought a piece of paper and legalities into it. Yeah, right. taxes and shit. Right. So now it's it just. That's why I just feel like. And my thing is, you can do half of the legalities without getting married. Like, you can put somebody in your living will to be responsible for whatever. You can make somebody your power of attorney. You don't have to get that's married. What, that's because of Chris we talked about, too. Like, you can get, like, you can do some of the legalities without getting married. Right. I mean, the mother of my children, she's my power of attorney. She's in my will. She's in all my shit. And we're you got not. A will? From, yeah. I don't have no will. I mean, I ain't got shit really, but, you know, nigga that. might hit the powerball before you die. I don't know. <laughs> but you got to have, you want to have something that's. A legal document in place. That's, that's what's up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I had, I, had to re- I had to rearrange my will, though. But I'm probably going to... You got a will, too? God damn. Yeah. I'm the only nigga without a will. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you at least got to get at least something like... Like, say, if you got to go to the hospital, you want to have somebody definitely in charge to make your decisions. That's what. That's another reason why I had it. Because somebody know how to handle your funeral arrangements. Right now, shit it's like moms, that. But, like, you kind of right. It my, needs to be somebody little. My cousin Lamar had... I told him, like, listen, because I went through... Going through shit, when I went through the last three years, like with my brother handling all the funeral arrangements that we didn't have, this nigga ego trip. I'm like, no, listen, Lamont, one of my best friends and my cousin, my brother and everything, I trust you to do all of that. Like, anything happened to me, oh, it's, in, it's written and everything. You handle everything. I do want to, like, when I die, <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> But I, I do want my, the lawyer to get everybody in the room, open up a box and shit. <laughs> like, they, <laughs> like, Barbara wants, wants you to have these. Shot black, give you this. Yeah, that's, that's even funny. If you use shot black, oh, that's Shot hilarious. black, give you this. <laughs> is, this a, is this a CD? <laughs> Remember all the times y'all had. What? <laughs> That'd be dope. I want to do that so bad. I don't know. Good. My biggest thing is just when I die, cremate my ass. I don't waste that money on fucking burying. That's that shit's a fucking racket. Man, it every, is. That's, that that shit's a fucking racket. Just Everything spend that so. whatever it is to fry a nigga that seven hundred dollars. Whatever it is to fry a nigga and put him in, put me in the urn. Like having a little ceremony, cool. After that, fry me. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to get like a, a special. You want to get like a. Special urn or whatever all that extra shit, but, their, uh, but like you know the bury somebody that shit's like ten racks. It is. By the time you're done with a casket and all that shit, it could be up to ten racks, depending on the well, cemetery and shit like that. Go in the ground and be 
disintegrated in less in less than six months. Uh, and then you got to deal with, you know, some of your cemeteries, you don't be where you're supposed to be at, and your people, yeah. and people technically will never know because they be moving niggas around. And yeah, that's why I would like all that. A, like, like, you didn't pay, pay for it, and like, no. Yeah, I would get a plaque, I mean, just make an altar or something. I wouldn't. Yeah, like, but yeah, other like, than that, nigga. Like, like, James is right here. How the fuck you get over there? Like, <laughs> some shit like that. Like, my mom, my mama got buried. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, my dad, my sister, all of, they, they got cremated, man. Like, my mom was the only one that got buried. But my sister, my brother, and my dad, they all got cremated. I, uh, a couple my thing is, I just rather my kids or grandkids, whatever the situation. Time, I rather them have money so they can do tangible things with it. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying like the maybe there might be someone they need to go buy their first house or get out of debt or you know what I'm saying like it may be something the money See, needs to be yeah. used for. It. And, and I want to have a private ceremony. And I don't, you know, so I don't think it's you know, so you got your homies in the hood, but it's just like for all them people to come and all that. I'm not with all that shit. Yeah, I don't I, even. I don't, I don't even need a repass. Like, I don't, I don't need y'all to eat because I died. You, you gonna eat anyway, motherfucker. <laughs> See, I, I always figure. <laughs> I don't like when people take pictures at funeral of the body. Personally, that's stupid. Like, I, my brother, this this dude was like, he was on live. He I seen that before. I've seen that. Yeah, people going live at the wedding. I'm like, nigga. Like this nigga take he he got my brother on. I'm like, hey, bro, you can't do that shit. That's yeah. a, that's an ass whooping. Okay. Person. Yes, that is. To me, that's an ass whooping. That, I'm about to take you out the side though and you about to rough hey. your collar, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, hey, I'm like, hey, bro, you can't do that. What are you doing? You don't. Like, like, that don't uh, even sound right. Like, why are you why are you recording? Like, that? who the fuck goes live at a bitch? Isn't that a fight? Like, who, <laughs> I'm like, bro, we want to see him like that. Like, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm like, like, don't do that, dog. Like, like it's I, different. Like, if like they like if the funeral home like do a live stream and. That's yeah, one that's thing. Different. That's, yeah, that's you know different. what I'm saying. Like especially because of COVID and shit, you know you can't have certain attendance numbers. That's yeah. one thing. But to go live, bitch, I will beat your ass. All the, <laughs> the front of the body talking about my nigga. My, I'm like, bro, if you don't put that fucking camera everybody, down. everybody doing the fucking heart emoji, the heart little reaction thing in the video. Yeah, the and, care. Oh, hey, bitch. But having that, that's, care. that's all, all that right. stuff is for is reaction. Yeah, yeah, like I beat your ass. That's why I'm like, man. Let like, me this live gonna see you get your ass whooped if you don't turn that shit off. How about that? <laughs> like just give me just give me a funeral in two days and call it I don't want I don't like link you know how you know how hard it is to go through that whole process up into the funeral? That's some of the worst shit to go through. So I was just like, hey look, if you can if you can get the shit over in three days. Like, it's gonna knock it out. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all so you so you y'all can heal and start yeah. your process and As a matter of fact, just have a just have a you know what I'm saying a memorial service but between the family or whatever like and that. And now when my oldest like being 18, I'm just going to start teaching him like, did they happen? Hey, the money you have my life insurance, don't let it go to the funeral home. Let them send the money to you and then you pay the funeral home for whatever you needs to be paid for. Because that's another hustle. Yeah. A lot of people don't know, a lot of people get coached in letting the life insurance policy send the money to the funeral home and then the funeral home take it as, oh, we got 35000 to spend and then they talk, you know, all this extra shit. And that's that's another hustle of it too, you know what I'm saying? That's like, real. That's very real, real. Like you know, let them like people send the money to you directly, and then you go to the funeral home and ask them, "Well, I want to do this and this. How much does it cost?" And you don't tell them how much you have. How much is I'm asking you? How much does it cost? A direct question. It costs seventy five hundred. Okay, here's seventy five hundred. We're done. What day can we be here? All right. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's definitely. I had some people uh, donate their body to science in my family, which is like. It was cancer, so that's why they they wanted to help out the research. I was about to say I'm fat, so they probably not gonna want my shit. <laughs> it depends on how. <laughs> wow, it depends on how you. You pass. want me? Out to, I'm supposed to be at home. <laughs> yeah, not regular like die like regular like. But well, I can case. understand that. Yeah, like if it's something like somebody needs to look, I can understand that. Yeah, like with CT and the athletes, I can, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. I can understand. You need to know. Go come back as a zombie. Like, um, <laughs> Be the first time. <laughs> That's why I sent my blood to the little. Have you did the DNA test? Hell no. Yeah, no. What's the point? What's, I guess because. I mean, I've thought about it, but it's just. They yeah, have like a special, DNA, maybe. DNA if they have like a special, they catch me on the right day when I don't give I just, a fuck. <laughs> yeah. But it's not a thing I'm going to probably seek out to do. What, is this a random DNA test? You know, like, you know, like the accessory.com yeah. type shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I thought you like, like I said. If they they maybe have like a sale and catch me on the right day when I don't give a fuck, and I just be like, ah, oh, fuck it. 
but there's nothing I'm going to act on. I don't think I ever did what's the DNA test for a kid. And no, I mean like ancestry shit. Yeah, yeah. I did my first kid. Yeah. And the one I was telling you that might have been. You, yeah, might have been yours. Yeah, yeah. So I'm That's good. I know my people from Louisiana. That's good enough for me. <laughs> I feel that. Because, I mean. My name is Irish. You told me your last name? Yeah. Ours is an Irish name. So you had Irish uh, slave owners. That's one way to look at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's that's the only way to look is. at it. All the last thing is, unless somebody in your family was like, "I'm gonna change my name to Hines." That's a good last name. Unless they did that, your name was a white man's name. Yeah, yeah. slave owner went around back to the back house after after hours. Yeah, we took on <laughs> their name. Unless most people, the name Freeman, are actually not. They changed their name. That's a fact nobody really. I have Freemans in my family. I mean, what? Freemans are like, because I'm a free man. So they, oh, okay. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't know that. My family. I said, oh, that's what it's, it's Freemans. Out here. I'm about to call my cousin like right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, yeah, you a free man. Last <laughs> that just made me just think of Boondocks. <laughs> yeah. How you know a Robert Freeman? <laughs> <laughs> that's dope, though. How long you plan on continue hosting and doing this? Shut up, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think it might be winding down. Really? I'm tired of niggas. I feel that. <laughs> but do you enjoy it though? I used to enjoy seeing new people, like first time. Yeah, like yeah, like, like that's them, like that's that that stuff that yeah, that's kind of the main thing that kind of gives me joy now is like when new people come out, you see them and they getting over their fear and stuff like that. Um and then when you have like artists that kind of bring like some extra to the show, you kind of get to appreciate a good show, yeah, kind of thing. So, you know, like you said, so was, like I remember Ivy first started, that shit was crazy to see her grow. Yeah, that's been amazing. I remember, I remember when you. I don't remember the day I seen you or like you know. I remember Un's first day. I remember I was hosting. Then I remember his first day. He was in the back, just quiet, and just low key. And the next thing you know, it was just all of y'all. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like that was that was some dope times. I miss those times. Yeah, sure. that was fun times. Those those were the good days. Yeah. Before it got stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I in my mind I used to wanna uh a few years ago I used to want to buy the building back and like try again. I tr- I tried to. I mean I tried to see if I written it out because I cause the I get my haircut at that barbershop right there. Oh, do you? Yeah, so I talked to the owner like all the time. Kevin, so I, but the person that's, it's a self defense studio, and the person, you know, they're not technically doing nothing, they're still paying rent there. Yeah, I haven't, so, I, so I've inquired, I've inquired about it. We got, yeah, we got to, because if I can get it, because that's just a, a, for the culture kind of moment, if that particular building can be reacquired for artistic purposes, that will, be. that's for an, a, for the culture moment. For sure. We, yeah, we got to do something about that, for sure. What you got for us, Daryl? I want to, um, Speak on like oh it's like, it's not necessarily old. well the information came out is old but it's not old all right Diddy old body you ever um Diddy old bodyguard Gene Deal anybody familiar with him I've heard of it but I'm not a hundred percent familiar with it for real Gene Deal is uh is Diddy ex bodyguard mm-hmm. he was around when when uh, Big died he okay. do, he does like these stories of how you know what I'm saying he talk about the bad boy days and. Diddy was, um, you know, when Big had died or whatever yeah. like that. He confirmed pretty much what all Bad Boy artists kept lying and saying. That uh, Biggie, remember when Biggie went to L.A.? Yeah. And he did that long kiss goodnight on the radio? Yeah. He confirmed that it was about Tupac. Yeah, he confirmed it. Oh, that I didn't get wind of. Yeah, he, oh, wow. he he confirmed it. Yes, he read, and that's ultimately what got Biggie killed. Was that confirming some old shit? Yeah, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Because see, because Lil C's was on. Um, I haven't seen Lil C's in so long. Yeah, because he was on Art of Dialogue. That's like a a Tupac kind of channel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm You got these Tupac channels, and a lot of stuff they kept asking. Him. I mean, you could tell that he's lying about it. But he's, he constantly keeps trying to uh, protect Biggie. Yeah. Like, a lot of stuff that came out lately, like, how the industry, like, not trying to go real deep into it, 
Just know Tupac didn't start that beef. No, he didn't at all. He didn't. He didn't start the beef. The nigga that come to find out another thing that he confirmed, Jimmy Hendrix, which who was uh the game manager. Yeah, he was the one that got Tupac set up. Yeah, for, at the, yeah, at the um, the, when he Boy got studio, when he got right? yeah when he got shot up and guess then, where he was at? Where? And guess who he was with? Who? He was in that same studio Biggie and was in that night. I think I did hear that before. Like he was on another floor or something like that, or he was. Uh, he, in, he was in no, that was in that studio. Oh, they was all in it. Not oh. the same studio, but the same building. No, the, 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 the where Biggie and them was at. Yeah. So I know, I know. Like Pac was on one floor, and Biggie was on yeah, another that, floor. Yeah, that, that, that's facts. But what I'm saying, the same studio that Biggie and them was in. Yeah, Jimmy Hendrix was there that night. I think I did hear that before. Like he was, yeah. I, I think I at least heard that he was there. Gene Deal, he confirmed that that he did know that Tupac was about to get robbed. So that I've always believed the whole time. Yeah, I always, I've kind of believed that Biggie may not have known, but I felt. No, the, way Biggie, Diddy, the way the way Diddy moved about it, it seemed like he knew. All whole. right, let's spend like five minutes on this real quick because I'm about to break it down a whole break time. Wait, hold on. Before you do that, you know, as a, as you say it, I picture my head. You know what I'm picturing right now? What? The funniest shit? Anthony Mackie is Tupac. Oh, that God. is like the... <laughs> <laughs> that shit is funny. Wait, you look the back new on cap in America? <laughs> <laughs> but to break it down further, that's why Biggie got such a big head after Tupac went to jail. If you go back, it's a clip. As a matter of fact, it's on my Instagram page. While Tupac was in jail, Biggie and Lil C's went on Yo TV Rap, MTV Rap, and this Pop, while he was in jail. Remember, Pop came out with the article when he was like, hey, I'm going to bow out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really on that no more. I'm going yeah. to get out of it. Biggie went on. This is before he got out of jail. Went on MTV Rap, and he was like, how you going to be a thug and you're not a thug no more? How you going to, you know what I'm saying, you're going to turn to God and this, that, and the other? He's dissing Tupac on MTV Raps. Nobody mentions that. They keep trying to make it like, oh, he was listening to Mac Vettel. He didn't give a shit if Tupac died. He wanted Tupac dead. Then not, not only that, do anybody remember the MTV, uh, not the MTV, the Fox show that came out about the Quad Studio? I don't, I don't remember that. that. All right, this is another this is another reason too why Ice Ice T caught some flat too. It's an audio that came out. Biggie, they talk they talk about the whole thing. Remember the whole East Coast did turn on pop. Yeah, that's facts. He busts out Biggie was like, "Well, my man said he got shot one time." Stretch. Ironically, Stretch died a year later. The exact day that the Quad Studio shooting happened, but Stretch. Was going to pocket them, like Jimmy Hitchin said. If you if you're not if you don't have your money right, you're not ready. That's why you hear and against all odds. Um, is that against all odds? When he was like, that he told me if I if yeah 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 that was uh, yeah if I got my money right. Um, I know it's only something about yeah yeah he's like I got my money right I'm ready for war yeah that was at the end, against all odds at the end yeah yeah so. That's how he got that, because Stretch, Stretch was going to Jasmine Guy House. You know who Jasmine Guy is, right? Yeah, yeah. Tupac was at Jasmine Guy House recovering. Wow. Stretch was going over there and delivered a message, walk out the door. That's why Tupac felt some type of way about Stretch. Stretch knew about the setup, too. That's why when they first came, came out, Pac was strapped at Quad Studio. Mm -hmm. Pac was like... They were standing behind the niggas. It was Tupac, Stretch, and it was somebody else. Stretch and the other nigga uh, was standing behind the niggas as they put out the gun. He like, why you didn't grab? Gra He's like, y'all could have grabbed the niggas. I could have bust. By the time Tupac tried to pull the shit, they started shooting. They shot him. Yeah, Stretch knew about the shit. That's why when he came out of jail, he started bombing on niggas, killing bad boy, whatever like yeah. that. Diddy, before mistakes was famous, Diddy was going on mistakes, talking shit about pop. Wasn't mad, none of them niggas was mad enough to, you know what I'm saying, say it to him, or whatever like that. But 
everybody kept trying to make it seem like Biggie was innocent. That's why I hate the part in the movie but when they was like, he cried when Tupac died. No, he didn't. Big a fuck. Like he was trying to go to the hospital and see Tupac. No, he didn't care. He knew what was going to happen. Even though he told him to stop hanging around them dudes, they all knew what was going to happen to him. That's why Tupac came out like that. Kelly, you're on the toast with Shaw Black and Sterling, and we got Kim Brass here. Can you hear us? Uh huh. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yes. What's going on, everybody? Everybody, mental health good? Oh, oh, yeah. Good. oh yeah, yeah, we good. Hey, Kelly's wow. one of our hosts. Wait, let everybody see my beautiful face so I can oh, wave to the room. God. Come on now, don't start changing. Hey. Oh. Hey. hey, sir. Yeah, that, that's appropriate. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> let's be good with you. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I just went to pick up carry out. So, what's the topic? We're just kind of free balling right now. We're talking about hip hop. <laughs> okay, can you have a break in an engagement? A break in an engagement? Okay, I just went through a scenario where I was seeing somebody. And Uh-oh. they went back to their fiance that they were on a break from they didn't tell me about. Ooh. And uh yeah, like is that a thing? Like, cause for me, it's like okay, if a car breaks down, does it have the same value? Like sometimes your car breaks down to the point where you just needed to get in the car. Like if you gotta take a break in engagement, a break in a relationship, okay. But a break in engagement don't it kinda mean like y'all still got shit to work on and marriage shouldn't even be a fact the the, the or is that just a title? It's just a title. Marriage, mm-hmm. a proposal buys you two years off rip. That's like a low key. <laughs> that's like a low Two key years day. to get your bullshit out? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if well, you heard of something but, but if you get to the point of an engagement, like y'all say, y'all know y'all get married and for y'all to break on that. Yeah. That that's dude weird. Seen, yeah. Especially yeah. if it's like a break, break to where the point that you didn't start dealing with somebody else. Yeah, like we had a whole like fairy tale love affair, and like the girl, I didn't know that they like, you know. Of course, the guy made it seem like it had been forever since they had been together and A to Z. And the girl was like mad at me, like started inboxing me and going crazy on my Facebook page. And I really had no idea. Like we, me and the guy, never had no argument. It was never, 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 never no indication. Nobody was ever blowing his phone up. Like he barely touched his phone. He's around me. That probably just been fucking with back right there. But yeah, what a skill. Like, I, he must have had her on. Right, yeah, there's been silence in her context some kind of way. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's like pretty much she said that they wasn't dealing with each other, and I guess she popped back up, and when she popped back up and said, let's work it out, they worked it out. Yeah, oh, but, if she, was, but, if she, but if for a chick to start coming at you on social media and all that, that, that simply means it was some penis being inserted in some vagina. But he was on punishment. No, punish, the girl right. told me. The girl told me, like, no, I just started back talking to him last night, and, like, he went back home that night and, like, disappeared. Perfect for the last, yeah. Like, no, she told me that she hadn't been around. That's some wild shit. That's so he wild. just up it. He just up and, and ghosted you, pretty much. Yeah, he did. So y'all just went from being lovey dovey to gone. Like literally, like the night before, he had been at my house, and within hours, he was back at her house. Damn. The night before the drama, yes. Yeah, like, that's wasn't no gangsta. argument. It was. That's disgusting they because you know they fuck. They got that's, kids No. Together. But she's helping him raise his kid. And I believe that his kid has a room. Well, you know, I believe his kid has a room in her house. And I believe that the kid was there the whole time. He was lying and making it seem like the kid was at his mom's house. Because he has full custody of his daughter. So what I'm coming Ooh. to figure out is that more than likely, they were probably in, arguing in front of the kid. And it was like, okay, I'm going to go over here to my brother's house and take some space. A through Z. And he probably didn't plan to get as in touch to me as he did over the, you know, over the month or two that we was kind of hot and heavy. So that's what I was about to ask. Like, how, long was y'all, how long was y'all dealing with each other? The relationship portion of it was a month, but I'm going for a couple of months. Oh, wait. Yeah. That's wild. That's yeah, a good situation. So, but I just don't understand why the nigga ain't sent the text message like modern or something. Like, he ain't said shit. He ain't like, damn, shit. I ain't doing shit wrong. Like, like, he just flat he out get, said Did he block you on social media and all that, too? I'm blocked on everything. Damn, and I oh, he, it. Oh, he made you not exist. Oh, he he probably had Nintendo to. Nintendo snapped you. He probably had to though. 
Of he, course, he, 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 he go he, back home. He hit you with the he hit you with the hey Barbara's Richie. I ain't never come home again. Okay. It is what it is. I dodged the bullet because at the end of the day, yeah, if y'all taking breaks. Yeah. I told him I left him alone, and and I but I want him back, and I love him. Like okay, y'all, no, y'all are a mess, and y'all deserve each other. Yeah, for sure. That was some toxic shit. Because if you will run back home to somebody that got rid of you during the engagement while still wearing your ring, you an idiot anyway, and y'all deserve each other. Yeah, yeah, for sure. She had another nigga on him first, is what she told me. I don't have that's a whole mess, and I don't have time for it. Ooh. But the fact that he ain't shit, I feel like she might have it dropped in the closet somewhere with him. I ain't saying no names, but let's pray for that young man. My friends that have seen the couple of pictures of him know who he is. Oh, <laughs> that's what I get. No more young niggas. And I feel like that's a factor. See, but I hate, when, I hate when women date a certain guy and then they be like, all right, no more Aries. Like, it was just that No, no, Aries. no, hell no, no, no. That's not the same as no more niggas. No, that's not, the same as, <laughs> that's not the same as no more niggas 10 years younger than me. Come on now. That's oh, like see? A, oh, you slipped yes. the age group. Oh, oh, you slipped, yeah, that's a whole, you slipped into a whole, yeah, you did. You slipped to a whole different generation. A whole different record. generation, like, yes. That's like, you're no, like, never again. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> that's a little different than the other me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you, I would no, agree I with didn't. that. No, I didn't. I didn't. That's not even the youngest I dated. Yeah, but you kept that part for me. We gonna talk the youngest about is 25. To your current age? I'm, I'm 37. Okay. Little but light you know, cougar. I have a fun. A little huh? light cougar. A little light cougar. A little, little puma. No, little it's puma. called a puma. It's yeah, that's called why you're a little puma. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Call it Chitara. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm done with that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm retiring my whiskers in this bitch. I don't have time. Not the whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. So yeah, that's that's the I didn't the level of toxicity that I'm learning that goes on within people's norm normalized and I use air quotes. The things that people normalize, it will never cease to amaze me. Because if we got to break Ooh. up while we engage, we done. Yeah, I think yeah, that's a up, yeah, I think yeah, I think if you break up during engagement, that should just be a uh, that should just be a cut. Yeah, that like okay, this is not out. working out. Like yeah, yeah that like be, that should just be I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big but a couple of people are telling me they think that shit is. I guess normal is what normal does within your relationship. Normal is very subjective. That wouldn't be normal to me. See, and that goes back to what we were talking about earlier about I marriage. Was, yeah, <laughs> I was just about to bring it back to the marriage. What y'all was saying? All right, so well, fuck, it's on. He put on the radio, so he don't care. Uh, Ken doesn't believe in getting married. I, you know, I say I don't give a fuck about getting married. Yeah, it's like it's not. That I don't give I don't, believe in it. It's just. Nah, I believe. Me. I know Kelly. it's not for I don't me. Believe, I don't believe Kelly. I ain't gonna lie to you. Why? Because I'm a hopeless <laughs> romantic. Yeah. I just don't want the government. It's the paper aspect of it for me. I don't want the government control of my relationship. I don't want if I feel like I don't want to be married to this nigga. The government tells me I have to wait six months on paper. Still, regardless of where I am in the world, technically I'm still somebody's wife on paper because you have to wait a six month process and go through litigation and pay money. So I gotta pay you to break up with my man. Fuck y'all. That's another Shit part like too. That. Yeah, if you yeah, yeah you get married and y'all decide y'all meet up, now I got to pay to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's like I got to pay yeah. to break up. Like fuck out of here. I a lot. That that's a real big thing for me as well. Like I didn't even think about that. That's wild too. Like I got to pay to leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The fuck out of here. And then don't let you have some assets and then you know alimony right, and all that. Start, oh, yeah, y'all got to start doing yeah, that. Yeah, open. Yeah, I don't have time for that type of shit. Like, Let's just say, okay, we're going to be together and that's just that. We put our money together in accounts. I'm not against that type of shit, but marriage, hell no. I don't care. Like I, like, say, I don't do care. Certain, you can do certain legalities without now, getting if married. I, I'm not That's saying true. I'm completely against it, but I don't give a fuck about it happening. If I ever get married, like I feel like everybody will be shocked. I definitely will be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think you would, though. I think you'd be like, all right, I'm going to try it just for once, and if it don't work out, I'll never do it again. No, like, like I'm so like... <laughs> I'm so independent, like even a relationship. Like when when I say I'm in a relationship, everybody be like, "Oh my god!" Like like damn, they're like it's a marriage with me. Like so that's how I know. Like hell no, the, re- the marriage, was, the relationship. Even the shit you did Valentine's Day, I, I wasn't shocked by that. I was shocked. I I, I ain't gonna say it on air. I was shocked by, it, but I feel I, like wait, I think I'm having a slow moment. Y'all follow each other? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't know who I was. 
I'm I'm having is is I had a slow moment. <laughs> well, anyway, the show continues. So yeah, the whole Valentine's Day thing, like yeah, I did see that. I was like, oh, yeah, I did too. <laughs> I was like, look at Kelly. Yeah, but that makes it so much more fucking disgusting that you would be like all romantic like that and then go literally stick your dick in somebody else two hours later. Like, who raised you? That's disgusting. A savage. Yeah, but he should at that point be like, oh, she's taking this serious. Okay. I guess that's what he did. But you could have said something at that point. Like, look, we was on the break when we started kicking it. I ain't know I was going to get attacked. Like, keep it 100, but all my own girls think I'm crazy to ever expect a nigga to be that real. So, okay, I guess that's the question. What? Do women, question? do we have, the question is, do women have unrealistic expectations for how real a nigga can be for real? For real? Yes. Because yes. most niggas are not. Yes. I'm not going to broad brush it, but yes. Okay, fuck y'all very much for not even letting me ask him all, put out my whole question. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Kelly. Go ahead, boo. <laughs> my bad. Gangsta. You know. <laughs> okay, and if that's the case, if we have unrealistic expectations, are there any, because this is a topic for my question, are there any niggas that are going to be, besides pimps and niggas with a lot of money, are there any <laughs> niggas that are going to be like, for real 100, like, okay, look, this is what happened, like, Am I expecting some shit that would have never happened anyway? Like, the nigga wasn't going to wake up Thursday morning and be like, look, I went back to my bitch last night that I didn't tell you about, and I'm sorry. Like, that. I mean, it's, <laughs> like, I mean, it's niggas out here that's going to tell you all they bullshit up front. Exactly. But if a nigga tell you all your bullshit up front, you have to be able to understand he's telling you all his bullshit up front okay but we're not talking about that we're talking about a situation that took my choice away so after my choice is taken away no, he, fuck, no, a- he fucked you over like he he a whole ass nigga that's just call it what it is he a whole ass nigga yeah for sure but once you was a whole ass nigga nobody's ever gonna tell the truth like damn i was on some whole ass nigga shit you, 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 like, what really makes him like a whole that. ass nigga is that you blocked on everything he at least could have said like you know what my no i apologize at least you didn't even get an apology. That's takes, fucked up. It takes a man to do. Yeah, and he's too young. He too yeah, young. You, that was a boy. Because a man yeah. will at least apologize. How, yeah. how old was he? 25. Yeah, he wasn't ready for that. Oh, 28. Fuck I'm sorry. He was 28. That was a 25 nigga with someone else. Someone yeah. I'm sorry, 28. <laughs> he wasn't ready for that. 28. He wasn't ready. So he went about it. I'm going to put that, that, that grown woman. You know why? You know why? He you know why? Because I put that grown woman grip on him. That's I, I was That's I, I, I didn't want I didn't want to go there, but I was I I didn't want to go there. <laughs> but since you opened the door, <laughs> let's go to on in. I was gonna say you must have that, that you must have that, that double that grip, double twist okay? that double hand twist guap guap five million. No, not that grip, not that grip. I was level to this, huh? She talking yeah. about she talking about the wall. So you didn't go Super Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say it. He said it. And she said she didn't even go to she didn't go to level over nine thousand yet. Damn. I assume beyond that, she she went she went to Super Saiyan too. She gave him the grip, the kung fu grip. Y'all funny, but she she didn't go to the expansion pack. Apparently, she go to the downloadable content. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did whatever I was supposed to do. He wanted to go back to Monique. But yeah, but Ooh. no, it, everybody under thirty. That bitch looked like Monique when she was at the office talking about molesting her child. <laughs> Anybody under thirty oh, though, probably, not not to be trusted. You probably gonna have to remove that word. I know that's like a word you can't use on like media now. So, but what, I missed the, I missed the word. What word did he so, say? Well, you ain't say no bad word. I don't know, but I'll mark it just in case. Right. <laughs> the, the M word. <laughs> but no, any nigga under thirty is not to be trusted. Yeah, that Damn, that's not right. I can't say that. <laughs> that can't, we can't, okay, no okay. Your can't broad brush like, it. Bro, what the fuck? I mean, your odds are heavily against you under thirty, but you can't broad brush it. Okay, that's that's fair, I guess. You got treated like, like the Hunger Games. Right now. You got treated like the Hunger Games. May may the odds be in your favor. Yeah. You got treated you tr- going volunteering for tribute. <laughs> <laughs> I volunteer for tribute for District Five. All right, I'm about to go in here and watch the rest of Gone with the Wind and eat my carry out. What's up with these old ass movies, Gone dog? with the Wind? She, that's that's her second. I you about to old eat some? Fi- you going to eat some fig? Do no, you not. watch that shit too? Huh? Some Sherbert okay, Boulevard, <laughs> Gone with the Wind, The Graduate. You got some Sherbert in your freezer, with- don't you? You got some Sherbert, don't you? First some, of all, fuck out very much. I studied film in college. Like, damn, that's I don't fine. have to all be about the city girls. Like, I mean, I'm all about the films too. I never seen Casablanca. I've seen Casablanca. Okay, see, I'm probably gonna watch that next. Like, okay, goddamn, no, you gotta wait. Goddamn, wait. No, I watched Casablanca. 
All right, guys. My edges is popping. I'm still making money. I'm still fine. So fuck these niggas. That's right. <laughs> and that's where we're going to leave at. Everybody know where to find me. Kelly Doe's way on Instagram. Good night. I'll holla. All right. All right, now. Oh, no. Before I... Before... Let's... 10 pound palooza if any show this year or the past few years i've seen that has been the shit it's 10 pound palooza you want to shout out that and what that yeah. is to the people what that is oh so it was um well it wasn't really bit what we had to stop because of rona but you know niggas back outside um <laughs> like it never existed by the way <laughs> niggas niggas is outside niggas, yeah like even today when i was just like in the grocery store like niggas is outside have you been to a restaurant now you got to wait been, now. I, I haven't been to like a restaurant in a while. You got to wait now. Like there was a time where. You could just right, walk right in and be straight. And be straight. Now it's back to weights and shit. You yep. got to get the buzzer. Yep. This summer about to be something ugly. It's crazy. I mean, let's bad at me if you didn't get the bomb and shit. But. Oh, man. That's a whole <laughs> other episode. <Yeah. laughs> but um, to answer the question. <laughs> um, Tampon Blues is like a yearly event that I do. Or as an event with all female performers from the city, all genres, rappers, poets, comedians, singers. And what it is, I do it to, as a donation drive event to get like products for like homeless shelters and girls' homes, like feminine hygiene products, hair care products, which is a mission to the event. This guitar in the background is throwing me off. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> I felt like it was a wrap it up box. No, 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 no. You good. No. Well, no, it's, it's um event. Like I said, it's a dope event with all, like, female Detroit entertainers. It's always a vibe. There's always a lot of ladies there. I was always say if you a guy, you looking, come in there and, you know, stop the store, grab something, or you can pay, like, $10 at the door to get in. And there's always a room full of, like, just dope talent, dope women, dope vibes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like you said, it's, it's always a dope event. Like, it's always a good, a good, good, a good-ass night. You know what I'm saying? For a good cause. And what is it? Um, the next, the one we're doing this year is Saturday, March twenty sixth. March twenty sixth. Again, yep. Saturday, March twenty sixth. Um, you can follow on Instagram. It has its own Instagram page, Tampon Palooza, or you can see it on my personal page, like Brass Eighty One, or the Sound Off Sunday's Open Mic page. You can see the information there. Got another event with some amazing talent as well. Like I said, it's gonna be a vibe. Just pull up. That's what said. That's what, who you got coming this Sunday. Um, at Sound Off this coming Sunday, I have a featured artist, Nanette Lachey. She's an amazing, amazing singer. Um, there's always dope talent on the open mic. So next Sound Off Sunday is coming Sunday the 6th. $10 before 9 $20 after BYOB, BYOW. Um, Fools on site by Premium Taste Catering. You know, pull up. It's a good vibe. Again, if you need to catch it way earlier in the show. Um, Sound Off Sundays is at the High Function. 5249 East 7 Mile Road. Um, again, follow us on Instagram at Sound Off Sunday's Open Mic. You can see all the details about what's coming up and what's going on. And you want to come perform, how to sign up, and all that good shit. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Sterlo, Sterlo. What's good? Where can the people find you at and your products? Um, Again, I can find you. I can shoot us on pre order at uh, allshoealive.com. You can catch me on Instagram and. Uh, I am Sterling Hines. I am Sterling Hines. Um, I, I got the J Report Instagram page popping. I got the uh, J Report um, Facebook page popping. And if you want to know what the J Report is, just basically a media uh, outlet for you to go post your reviews about movies, music, um, views on politics and everything. And um, like I said, merch coming out beginning of April. The T-shirts. And everything. Okay, that's what that's what, that's what. Tonight we toast to success. We toast to these uh, entrepreneurs, these visionaries, these great men of standard. I love you guys. Thank you for being here, Ken. We gotta get you back. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about twerking and shit happened. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got come to you got come to after dark show, which we gotta talk about. I'll have a major after dark show coming up soon, so we may. Uh, What's the men in the house for that? Yeah, especially since I know, find out I know more of your, your cast mates, so I definitely need to come back when they here. Yeah, for sure, for <laughs> sure. You can find me on a toast with Shaw Black, S-H-A-H-B-L-A-C-Q, and all social medias and the like. We toast to you. We bid you adieu. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>